Now, the executive committee of the Confederation of African Football made sweeping decisions due to the disruption brought on by the coronavirus pandemic to its calendar late last month. Among the notable resolutions, the Africa Cup of Nations was pushed to the World Cup year of 2022 as the 2020 Africa Women's Cup of Nations was cancelled altogether. CGTN's Adel Mahrui looks at how African football has been impacted. After its controversial decision to settle the semi-finalist fate of the Champions League and the Confederation Cup in just one match, CAF is reconsidering. Egypt and Morocco have stepped in to offer hosting the games, saving the continental body from unnecessary disputes when the competitions resume this September. The COVID-19 pandemic has enforced itself over the world. African football had to cope with the consequences. These are unprecedented decisions made by CAF. It's great that the semi-finals and the finals for the club competitions are back to two-leg matches because not all clubs would have had the ability to perform in one-leg matches, especially when the fields are not theirs. The surprising move from Africa's football governing body was pushing the Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon to the World Cup year 2022. Some football associations, including Egypt's, have welcomed the step, which has somewhat saved their domestic competitions. CAF's decision has resolved many problems for us. We had concerns about our current season and the titles in the next. The EFA was very keen to resume the current league before beginning next year's. One of the obstacles we faced was the AFCON, which was set for next January and its qualifications. Pushing the Cup of Nations has freed up the schedule and will make this delayed season finish successfully. Nonetheless, 2022 will put immense pressure on national team's players. In less than two years, they will have played in the Olympics, two AFCONs with the World Cup in between. For one team to go through all of this puts a lot of physical pressure on the national players. It's definitely an exceptional year. It might have some drawbacks on football. Many experts believe that CAF may resort to postponing the second AFCON, currently scheduled in 2023. But it will have to play it by ears, though, after Cameroon is over and the World Cup map becomes clearer. CAF says the Africa Nations Championship will be played in Cameroon next January, and the Women's Africa Cup of Nations has been cancelled. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.